oh, it's so early. So early, but it's the only time for me to get one of these done. Cheers, cheers, cheers to you and to me for being up already. It's probably not even early for you. I only started riding about five years ago. Five years ago, if you looked in the garage and looked at how many tools I had, there wasn't many at all. Because I'm not, I'm not a mechanic guy. I'm not. Uh, I like cameras, and I like now I like motorcycles. I really do. But my tool collection was suffering, and even the tools I had, not good quality because either they were just hand-me-downs from people that were replacing them, or they were just stuff that was on sale and I could pick up for cheap. I didn't really have anything of of good quality. I didn't. So it's always cool when somebody sends me stuff. A lot of times it's tech related or you know I got some motorcycle jackets and gloves and anything that I can kind of wear on the bike or try out which is always awesome. So I received this today and it's kind of cool because there's none of the above. I think this is some tools for the bike so I'm excited to take a look at it. Coming up. All right, so I got my trusty knife, got my box. Now this is from a company called Go Fast Innovations. I saw a little ad from them online talking about these screwdrivers. I was somewhat curious because I have a Japanese bike and these screwdrivers are for Japanese bikes. So I'm like, hey, your screwdrivers fit my bike and it would be cool if uh, I could try them because again, always good to have proper tools. I'm gonna open these up so you guys can see them. I'm gonna try to open them up. It's got a lot of tape on this. And no real, I guess I'm just gonna do that. Right. Hopefully you guys can see this. Screwdrivers, first off, heavy. So here's three sizes. So nice and long, You've got a shorter one and a shorter one. These are called JIS screwdrivers. If you were to look at the tip, I would expect these to be to be Phillips. And so I went on their website, and I'll put a link to their website below there so you can get some more information or if you decide that you would like to order a set of these. And I think they run for about $30 Canadian, I think it is. Don't quote me on it, but I think that's kind of the price. One of the things that was cool on their website that struck me as interesting with these screwdrivers, one of the things they say is, have you ever damaged the screw hedge trying to remove those stuck screws on your Japanese motorcycle? And all I can say is, uh, yeah, and last year when I was riding, I stripped one in Cabot Trail at the worst possible time. Uh, stripping a screw is, it sucks, just to be honest. So if so, you've probably been using the Phillips screwdriver to remove a JIS screw. And I'm like, well, what, what the heck is a JIS screw? Every screw in a Japanese slash European designed motorcycle from the 1950s right up to the newest bikes in the showroom were manufactured with a unique JIS screw head, one that we don't see on products made in North America, and JIS stands for Japanese Industrial Standards. People wrongly assume they can use a Phillips screwdriver safely on their Japanese bikes. Not true. Not true. Not true. It's not true. I had no idea because that, to me, looked like a Phillips. So I guess I'm wrong. So a few things that are interesting. Again, you guys can't see this, but the weight, these got, these are, these are, these are heavy duty. They got really nice grips on it. Nice and, hey, look some advertising, gofastinnovations.com, which is cool. Hey, all the power to you. Really nice grip, so there's a nice rubber. I guess, I'm not hoping you guys can see this as well. You know, you got some nice rubber here for, for, for getting some grip on it. But one of the important parts, magnetic tips on all of these. Again, I don't have on any of my screwdrivers because mine are, are cheap ass. Not like these, these are lovely. These are really nice. So magnetic, look at that, head on that. That's fantastic. I'm gonna go on to their website and I'm gonna read you some, some things here. So firstly, it talks about the actual grip. Okay, so ergonomic handles, right? Molded with strong thermoplastic resin, cool. Fused with bands of high friction material to resist slippage in the hand. Because nobody wants slippage in the hand, not when you're actually trying to get some torque on there. Reduce fatigue and transfer more torque, huh? See? Oh yeah, to the screw. They are now full tang. So not Wu Tang, full tang. Because, I don't know, that, that just popped in my head. I apologize, I'm sorry. Wu Tang. I don't even know. Wu Tang. Full Tang means that they are full metal from here all the way through here. 
So again, really cool. You're not gonna have anything inside the handle where this tip ends here, which means this just kind of pops out. So that's awesome. And one of the coolest things actually that I noticed on it, hopefully you guys can see it, is right here on the back. So on the back here, what you'll see is there's a hex nut, I think they call this. And so for those of us that have a socket set, which I'm sure all of you guys do if you're watching this, and trying to see how to get good screwdrivers. This, kind of cool, because you can put your, your socket on there with a your wrench and just, yeah, these are awesome. I gotta take these out to the bike. Now I have a Suzuki V-Strom 1000. My wife has a 650 V-Strom. And I'm gonna see how well these fit, and see where, where they go. And we're gonna go outside and try that out. All right, so we've moved outside. We moved outside and kind of sitting between the two bikes here. So my bike, Mary's bike. I wanted to talk about a few things in regards to the screwdrivers. This is them again. This is at the JIS screwdrivers from Go Fast Innovations. And this is a standard little tiny baby Phillips. And I'm gonna put a little diagram up here on the screen to kind of explain the differences between the two. So one of the things really is inside this part here versus this part is the amount of kind of curve it has, which is probably one of the biggest reasons that you get the stripping happen. I've been trying this on the bike and it fits in actually quite nice, like it's really nice and snug, which is excellent. And then the other part that I really liked, each one of these has the little hex nut on the back for one of your sockets. So I wanna make sure you guys knew which sizes. I'm hoping I got the right size on the big one. So that's a 15 on your medium. Click, 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 click. And that would be a 13. And last but not least on our little guy. He's little, but he's good. I thought it was gonna be a 10, but it looks like it's an 11. Nice snugs fit on the 11. So the big difference, like I said, is really on the tip here. These really go into a true V versus a Phillips has a bit of a U to it. So because of that, it doesn't quite fit in all the way, even though you and I, when we push, figures it's there as good as it's gonna go. You can see when I put it on the bike here, how it is. Just kind of show you a little clip while I'm talking here. Other than that, you know, they, they fit great. Uh, I'm super happy I got these. And the hope is that I won't be stripping any more screws come this season coming up. Awesome. I think they're 30-ish dollars. Hit that link down there if you want to get more information. I'm going back inside because it's minus three outside and it's cold. All right, so what do I think of these little guys? These are awesome. I want to thank Go Fast Innovations for sending these to me. These, these are great. I am going to throw these in the bike at all times. These are coming with me. These are now the screwdrivers that I will be using on mine and my wife's bike all the time. Head on over. Again, link in the bottom. You guys can go down there and take a look. But these are fantastic. I don't know what else to say. You know, you think they're screwdrivers, but get a good pair. All right, guys, we'll talk to you again. Like, comment, share, subscribe. It's all down there waiting for you. I'm going to sit here for a minute. You'll get her done. We'll talk to you again. Have a good one. Later.